Hi guys, uh, this is Regina. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Bob Books Beginner Reader Workbook uh, Level Pre-K. As you might know, Bob Books is a very well-known beginner readers brand. And yeah, they have these boxes. I have a couple here. I have, this is the alphabet one and this is set number one. I'll talk about them later with the actual workbook. So yeah, they have launched now a world book that uh, correlates to the books. This one correlates to books, to this one. So the alphabet one, as I showed you, the set one and reading words. Uh, you can pause here to read the back of the book and let's begin the review. Okay, the book is quite thick, as you can see, it's, oops, sorry, that's a, uh, come on, I gotta find the, <laughs> the actual page, 219 pages, and it includes three sets, so that's quite a lot, it has some stickers in the back, and these stars are for, to mark which books you have read, I'll show you later, so yeah, according to the, from cover, it uh, it includes stickers, certificates of achievement, coloring pages, word searches, rhyming games, and counting. I think coloring, coloring pages. No, sorry. I think word searches are only in the last section, in the rhyming books. But let's see. So let's have a flip through. Okay. So uh, the actual index. Uh, correlates to the different books in every set, so that's for the alphabet set, that one. And as you can see, oops, it's, it follows the same order. Okay, so the idea for this is well, this is the sample set, which was the same, and this is the renewal set, and then it's divided in the different, it has three sections. So as you can see, the content actually matches that of the according of of, of the same book. So here you can see it includes the same drawings. So that's the ant and the apple. And well, there's a story, more story for A. Hey, what's it? Ah, yeah, and that's the bear and the other bear. So yeah, it's uh, it uses the same drawing. So the uh, the whole idea, at least for me, it's going to be we read one story and then we do the the pages accordingly. So it's really beautiful. The pages are gorgeous. It's so thick. It's in color but not overwhelming which is something I really dislike and so does my daughter when there's so much color that you lose track of what you're doing. It includes mostly handwriting really, some coloring but handwriting, uh, write the first letter of the of the word, identify the first letter, and then write the first letter, so it's pretty much the same in every page to be fair. So every book has the same sort of activities, which might be good because actually kids might be able to do it on their own once they get used to the format. So let's keep going, we're on N. Yeah, it groups the words, sorry, it groups the letters by book. So for instance here it's O and P go together, Q and R, etc. And I think the color of the page is this, matches the actual colors of the books, which is good. As you can see, this I didn't mention. It gives you the number of the of the book, so you know exactly where, where you are and what you need to do. So here's that. And here's a pretty abecedary. And this is a tracker. So once you finish one book and the, and the matching activities, you just get a star from the top one. 
and mark it so it's that's actually very good because kids really like that sort of stuff and then a certificate of accomplishment once it's done so this is a beginning reader so that's this one this set is bigger this one has 12 books i don't know if you can see it properly so yeah and then it goes the same way in every book you have the letters included in the beginning so this is the end of the book same letters same, same drawings so it works pretty well and then the inside sort of correlates let's see so these are the words used in the in the book mad sad some or some some here so yeah it uses the same words it includes some handwriting it also involves reading that so it's pretty complete okay so i'm going to move faster because this video is already six minutes long and at this seems like it's the like the previous one that you always see the same sort of activities over and over for each book so again that means that the kids will eventually be able to do it on their own once they get the hang of it hey that these texts are starting to get longer i think the first set is just short vowels so, ah, look, there's also numbers. That's interesting. Numbers to ten. Counting. That's a lot of writing for pre-games, which is what it's supposed to be. So here we have all the letters used in these books with a matching drawing, again the tracker and certificate of achievement. I don't have the rhyming books set though, but I'm going to show you anyway. If I'm honest, I don't think this book is the level it's supposed to be. I find it quite hard for pre -K. The beginning is alright if the kid has the the hand coordination to actually be able to write but if not i think it's it's quite advanced especially if you're one of those people that don't believe that uh, reading and handwriting should go together This is nice. Ah, we were talking about this before. Right? Uh, word searches are only in the last book. I like the drawings, they're so cute. That's the stickers, more stickers, and um, here you can see the other books. So that we have this one, but there's level K and K to first grade. Um, yeah, okay, my thoughts are about this. I find it quite that there's too much writing for pre-K. However, my daughter likes doing handwriting, to be fair. So my idea is at the moment we're, we're working on phonemic awareness so what i'm going to do is we're going to go through this book set which is quite broken because she likes playing around with it we're going through this book set we're going to read the books very slowly very casually and uh, if she wants to do some workbooks she can do some handwriting if not she doesn't have to but i think she's going to love it because she really likes writing so at the moment we're doing do this, I'm not sure if I'm going to coordinate it with um, Get Set for the Code, which is the 
uh, no sorry go for the code which is a book we're doing at the moment by explode the code but i'm not sure if i'm going to coordinate it or i'm going to do them separately so actually one program reinforces the other so she does one letter in one and then she'll do it eventually with the other so it's almost like we're spir spiraling to the same topics but yeah i hope you like this video i hope you enjoyed it just let me know your thoughts uh, subscribe the subscribe if you liked it and leave me any comments you want okay thank you for being here bye